Hello, Twinkle. Hello, Twinkle. How are you today? What is it, Twinkle? Can you hear something? Oh, no. Are you all right, Sandy? I think she was flying too fast. Poor Sandy. Wait, have you got an idea, Twinkle? What have you got there, Twinkle? That's right, it's a banana. Bananas are yellow. Oh dear, I guess Sandy doesn't like bananas. Twinkle, what are you thinking of now? Another one. Do you know what fruit that is? <laughs> yes, Twinkle, it's an orange. Oranges are orange. Isn't that funny? What a shame. Sandy doesn't like oranges either. Try again. You've found more fruit. Do you know what those are, Twinkle? That's right, Twinkle. Those are grapes. They're purple. Oh dear. Sandy doesn't like any of the fruit, does she? What's this? It came right off the tree. Do you know what it is? That's right, Twinkle. A nice red rosy apple. Great! Sandy likes apples. Fruit is very good for you, Twinkle, and very tasty too. Bye, Twinkle! Hello, Bunny. What's that you have there? It's a balloon. And it's heart-shaped too. Whoa, Bunny is floating up into the clouds. <laughs> Hello, Twinkle. Are you having fun today? <laughs> oh, look. Bunny has given you a gift, Twinkle. How thoughtful of him. What do you say, Twinkle? <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Bunny. <laughs> Have you got an idea, Twinkle? <laughs> wow! You're making some heart-shaped balloons, Twinkle. There's a green one. There's a blue one. And there's a yellow one. Are those gifts for your friends, Twinkle? That's very thoughtful, Twinkle. You've got balloons for all your friends. Look, the green one is for Mr. Sun. The blue one is for Kitty. And the yellow one is for Bunny. Thank you, Twinkle. It's a lovely thing when friends give each other gifts. It shows how much they care about each other. Well done, everyone. Hello. Are you having a good day? <laughs> Look, it's Sandy Seagull. <laughs> do you want to play with Sandy? <laughs> All you have to do is get to the other side of the pond. <laughs> Ready? 
Pop up. Nicely done, Twinkle. Look, Twinkle. There's a lily pad. Can you hop down? Wow, Twinkle. That looked fun. Can you hop to the side? You've almost made it to Sandy the Seagull. You've done well. You hopped up. You hopped down. You hopped to the side. Now how will you get to the other side of the pond? Look, Sandy. Twinkle is here. Now you two can play. Goodbye, Twinkle. Goodbye, Sandy. The forest friends are excited to play together in all these puddles. But wait, what's that? That's an umbrella. But what do you do with an umbrella? Does it smell? No. Maybe it's something they can point with. Maybe it's something you can dig with. No, maybe not. Oh, wow! It popped open. Now it's a different shape. But we still don't know what it's for. What happens if we bop it? Hmm, this is very confusing. I wonder, maybe it's a little boat. No, it isn't a very good boat. I wonder what it could be for. Oh no! It's raining. Everyone will get wet. Look. The umbrella is keeping Twinkle dry. So that's what an umbrella is for. Well done, Twinkle. <laughs> the sun is rising and the night is almost over. Time for stars and forest friends to go to bed. Twinkle has to go back up into the sky. Bye, everyone. Good night, Twinkle. Twinkle the star is up high in the sky. But look, a starlight is calling from below. It's the forest friends. So down to earth, Twinkle goes. It's playtime with Twinkle. Bunny and Bear have something to show Twinkle. I wonder what it is. Hmm, what a strange object. Maybe it's something to smell. No, maybe it's something to touch. Or to bop. Oh, it made a boing noise. That's very funny. Look, Twinkle is bouncing. I know this. It's called a trampoline. 
you can use it to bounce really high. <laughs> oh no! Big Bear bounced too hard and everyone's been bounced off. Bunny has bumped his head. Twinkle wants to make sure Bunny isn't hurt. Oh, Bear is feeling worried he's hurt his friend, Bunny. But Bunny knows it was an accident and Bear is very sorry. That's okay. Bunny forgives Bear. I suppose they can't play on the trampoline anymore. Unless... I think Twinkle has an idea. Of course, they can have fun bouncing on the trampoline, so long as it doesn't get too crowded. Well done, everyone. What a fun time. But the sun is rising and the night is almost over. Time for stars and woodland creatures to go to bed. Twinkle has to go back up into the sky. Bye, everyone. Bye, Twinkle. Sleep tight. <laughs> Hello, Twinkle. What's that you've got there? Oh, you're going to paint a picture. What a good idea. What are you going to paint first? Is it the pond? Very nice, Twinkle. That's right. The pond is blue. What comes next? Good job, Twinkle. The tree trunk is brown. Something's missing. That's right. The leaves of the tree are green. That's much better. But something is still missing. What could it be? Well spotted, Twinkle. Of course, the apples are red. Well done. You've painted a picture. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong, Twinkle? <gasps> oh, I see. You didn't get to use your favourite colour, yellow. But, Twinkle, I can see something that's yellow. Think about it, Twinkle. What can you think of that's yellow? That's right, Twinkle. <laughs> You're yellow. Well done, Twinkle. What a pretty <laughs> picture you've made. Bye, Twinkle. <laughs> Hello, Twinkle. Would you like to play with these stones today? <laughs> Would you like to stack them up into a big tower? <laughs> well done, Twinkle. Your tower is beautiful. Shall we count how many stones you have? Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five. <laughs> oh no! Whoa. The tower fell. Huh? It's okay. You can build it up again. <laughs> Very nice, Twinkle. <laughs> Do you think you can stack up another stone? Yes, you put the red stone on the green stone. <laughs> your tower is looking very nice. Could your tower be even taller with the orange stone? Nice work, Twinkle. Looks like you have one stone left. And it's your favourite colour. That's right, yellow. 
can you put the yellow stone at the very top? Oh, your tower looks wonderful. Well done. Bunny and his daddy are watching the beautiful sunset. Daddy thinks it's the perfect time for a song, so he picks up his guitar. Daddy Bunny's song is very good. Bunny and Twinkle both enjoy listening to it. Wow! Twinkle has made three blue squares. Bunny thinks the blue squares are very pretty. Good job, Twinkle! Whoa! When the squares were popped, it made some flying stardust. Bunny and Daddy are floating up into the air. What fun! Twinkle and Bunny say hello to Mr. Sun. Twinkle has made some red triangles. Awesome! Bunny's daddy is also impressed with Bunny's flying. They have a nice big hug. Oh look, Mr. Sun is tired. I think it's time for him to go to bed. Bunny is also sleepy. He says goodbye to Mr. Sun as they float gently down again. Ooh, Twinkle's made some green circles. Look at them floating around peacefully. <laughs> Daddy Bunny thanks Twinkle for a magical evening. He takes Bunny inside to sleep. Good night, Bunny. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunset as Bunny and his daddy sit fishing by the riverbank. Oh, look! Here's Twinkle. Twinkle is sparkling with magic stardust. Oh, Bunny looks very tired. It must be past his bedtime. Bunny's daddy tells him that it's time for bed and leads him into the house. Bunny's daddy and Twinkle carefully guide Bunny to bed. Bunny gets a little wobbly when he's sleepy. Oh look, there's Mr. Sun outside. It's time for him to go to sleep too. Twinkle flies outside. She tells the sleepy son that it's time to go to bed. He's very excited for a good night's rest. <laughs> Twinkle sprinkles some sleepy stardust over Bunny. The stardust is ticklish, but it helps Bunny drift off to sleep. Twinkle has a blanket of her own. It looks like her and Bunny's daddy has made the blanket into a hammock. Look, there's Mr. Moon outside. Now that Mr. Sun has gone to bed, it's time for Mr. Moon to wake up and light up the night sky. Bunny's daddy gives Bunny a kiss on the cheek and wishes him a good night's sleep. He loves his son so much. Twinkle settles into her hammock and drifts off to sleep. Mr. Moon is happy to be out. He blows gently. The breeze drifts into Bunny's house and lightly rocks Twinkle to sleep. Good night, Bunny. Good night, Twinkle. Hello, Twinkle and Bunny. That looks like a lot of fun. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a bubble. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow, look at all those bubbles, Twinkle. They're so beautiful.
<laughs> oh no! You popped one, Twinkle. <laughs> Let's see how many you can pop. Are you ready? <laughs> Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Well done, Twinkle. You burst five bubbles all by yourself. Wait a minute. Where's Bunny? Oh no, Twinkle! Bunny is stuck. You're going to have to save him. You can burst the bubbles like before to get him out. Well done, Twinkle. You saved Bunny. See you next time. Bye, Bunny. Bye, Twinkle. <laughs>